Hello and welcome to Team Clueless Games. This is my, what month is it? February update, that's the one. Um, just going over bits and models that I've painted and sorted out and uh, just really what I've been up to in the month of February. Uh, so what have I been up to? I haven't kind of done any, like each previous month I've gone, this is the model I'm going to do for the month and I try and work more on that one model than I do any of the others. Um, this month I've kind of done a bit of bit of something different every week, um, sorting bits out. Um, games I've played this month, uh, I've been able to play Warhammer Quest, uh, the original one from the 90s, which my video is uploaded, and also I had a go at the Silver Tower, um, the, one of the newer versions of Warhammer Quest. Enjoyed playing both, um, video wise for putting on channel, uh, the original one was quicker than the Silver Tower. I felt the Silver Tower, because there's a lot of reading involved, um, made, made the video even longer. Uh, and yeah, as I say, lots of reading tended to make the video longer. Um, I would like to do more videos for the Silver Tower, but if the length of the video, I, was, I, I split it over two parts, over two videos in the end, and it comes to about two and a half hours, which really for sitting watching videos, Myself personally, when I, a, um, when I watch YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't sit and watch a game for that amount of time myself. Um, so I might see if I can get it down a little bit, a little bit shorter games, and maybe cut out some of the reading of the paragraphs. Whether, but whether that takes anything away from that one, I don't know. Uh, but certainly the original Warhammer Quest uh, from the nineties, I will definitely be playing some more of that one. Uh, I will try and put some links in the in this as well, some somewhere below in the description bit uh, so you can see so you can go and ha possibly take a look at them um, other news things that I've just found out um, I collected um, they did Warhammer 40,000 Conquest and they've just done and uh, currently at the moment doing Mortal Realms it's from that is it Hatchet Part Works um, which they're doing I'm getting the Mortal Realms at the moment uh, but they've announced a new 40k version uh, Imperial, Imperium, something like that is called, and it's going to be Space Marines, Primera Space Marines, with a little bit of um, Nuns with Guns, Sisters of Battle, and some ad mech in there as well, along with some uh, Necrons is the other side. Uh, looking at it, it hasn't started yet, it, they're, look, they're looking to start a trial version of it soon, I believe, uh, but that's something I'm probably going to pick up again for the 40k, and... Not for the Necron side, I'm not worried by that, but yet my brother might have a few of the Necron models from me, but it's the Space Marine side. If you if you know someone new to the game or you fancy getting a new army, it's a very good way of getting a new army. Obviously my friend Andy, that's how he's got his Death Guard army, mostly through, through that conquest, but it's how I've got my Death Guard army and my Space Marine stuff. Um, this new one's gonna be 8.99 an issue. Um, the first couple of issues are a bit cheaper, but generally eight, nine, nine pound an issue really. Uh, 80 issues, one a week, and you get models, paint, train. Good way to get yourself into the 40k if you wish to do so. All right, let's take a look and see what I've been painting this month. So here we go, this is what I've been up to for the month, or start of it anyway. Uh, these are the spiders from the original Warhammer Quest. I've still got three here left to paint, because so I've only been doing little bits. Um, I started off by painting them, uh, let's see if we focus. I've done a little bit of a dry brush on the top and I've just painted their legs uh, different colours and then just done their little claw, their little mouth at the front um, with skelet uh, Skeleton Horde, one of the contrast paints. Um, as I say, all the legs are different colours. This one, we go see this one's red and white striped legs with the thin stripe there. And then I've got onto the last couple which I've just done. I've literally I've just done a dry brush over the whole body and done the manacles just as a bit of a quick quickness. Um, what I'm doing, what all I've done with them. So those three, they're left to paint, um, and they'll be done. They'll, they'll be done this month. They're very quick and easy to do. Um, other things I've done. I've finished off my second liquor from uh, my Resident Evil 2 board game. Now I do plan on getting this back to the table again and carrying on. I've only done the first two missions of the campaign. And I do plan on getting it back to the table at some point to play some more. But he's done. Same, exactly the same way as the first one. You've got a light. Other bits. Uh, scenery. This is um, a couple, couple of little bits of scenery which I've done. 
Uh, these just went with, I found these, these went with the ruins that I've already painted before. So painted exactly the same way, just sprayed white, highlighted with agraph shade and dry brushed. And then the same, the stones is um, mechanical standard grey and a wash and a dry brush over them. Um, I'd say that's just the wash and dry brush. But what I tried doing with this one is, it's basically it's a little fountain. Um, and on the inside of the fountain, as you can see there is a pool. I've been putting some Nurgle Rot in it. I did a few different layers of it just to try and give it some, something a little bit extra in there. Plus I've also got, um, I wanted to try it out on this because I've got the 40k piece of terrain with the sort of crash rhino in a muggy bog and that and there's a crater and that in there and I was thinking of doing it in there. So I thought I'd try out on a smaller piece first and see how it went um, and I'm quite pleased with that. Right, um, I bought for myself off of eBay this month a soul grinder to go for the demon army. Um... I bought, I bought it because it I got it fairly cheap. Yeah, it's got cheap for sorry, Soul Grinder. It was already pre-built. And they've said painted. And as you see, there is some paint on it. Not massive amounts of details. I mean, the legs are quite literally done in lead belcher. And that's and that's it. So, although it, it's got some paint on it, I want more paint on it. So, I will take a look at that at some point. Um, from a demon army, which is, uh, which is you know... I want to get painted up this year, uh, well, for the corn side, and we shall get get that get some more paint and get that finished. Stick of corn. What I was doing for my corn army this month is my skull cannon. I've start I've started on this, so I've started quite literally just on the front of it here, doing the wheel. I've done the done the underneath part where again I've just used like Goodman flesh in there and highlighted um, the skulls and stuff, and I've started doing some of the brass. So. Um, this month, I might. I'm not sure where I'm going to start on the back wheel and back around here, or do like the cannon, the cannon and bits. Um, but I will get some. I'm trying to get some more bits done on this this month. This is kind of my. I had something. To, I wanted something to do, so I just did little bits of paint on, on that. Um, the other thing which I done this month. My squig buggy is fully finished and stuck down to the base now. I finished all the crew members and the extra little bits, like a little fly on the top there, squig there. So basically I finished off this orc here with his squig gun in the back there. And the orc that was sitting down, he was finished before, but I've been able to glue him on. Uh, a couple of bits I do like on this one. I do like my um, little Gretchen there in the back there, holding down the squigs in his little denim dungaree type sort of things. And my little squig in the front there uh, with his nice pink shirt on. Uh, just I got bored. Uh, when I painted out, I went, let's do some, something slightly different for them. Um, so that squig buggy, that buggy's finished. With that buggy, it comes with a little squig mine, which I've done on its own base as well. Uh, put a bit of snow in it. Basically, it's got a rule when you play him. Uh, once per game, you, this the, that buggy can lay a mine down on the battlefield. And it has a chance of doing up to the, up to three mortal wounds. Uh, if any, If anything goes near it, friend or foe. But as I've finished that buggy, I've put together the last one which I've got to do, which is the Scrapper Jet, Mega Drax Scrapper Jet. So what I've done is I've built this up as far as I'm going to build it up so far. Um, I'm going to get this sprayed, undercoated, and start throwing some paint on this this month. There's not much extra actually to put on it. There's a little Gretchen in the back there as well. Um, obviously, you've got the driver to go in there, tracks on it, the wheels and tracks to go on either side. And then some rockets and the big cannon that goes on there. But I'm one for very much, I build part of it up, I'll paint this bit and then I'll paint the rest separate and sort of kind of glue it on. Just because I'm getting to all the different areas. I know there are people who literally just glue the whole model together and then try and get into places. Which I do on other, I have been doing on other models and other units and stuff. But my orcs, um, I've generally always done... Uh, that way, separately. And then the other thing I've been doing this month, just to give it a bit of a go, try it out, is I've made myself a magnetic carry case. Um, it's one of the really useful boxes, which I've done. Take this off. I've, I've tried it out with my Sig Asia Sigma Sigmarine stuff. Um, literally sticking magnets and that on the bottom of this as a storage solution. Um for my models which I've got 
And also for when um, I am going to, when we are allowed to go around people's houses again, we in the UK we are slowly coming easing out of lockdown. Uh, be able to play Garden Hammer soon enough. But as you can see, I'll give it a bit of a shake. Nothing's moving. Tilt it. Nothing's moving. Um, I kind of followed guides which I have seen before. I've picked up the magnetic sheets, super glued it down into the bottom. Um, the four litre case, basically you get, it's an, a, it's an A4 sheet, but there's a little bit of an end, so you just gotta do a slight sort of off cut there. And then I spent a bit of time, as I say, I've tried it out with my um, Age of Sigma, Sigmarine things to start with. So if anything went wrong, it wasn't the end of the world, because this isn't an army that I particularly use uh, for any, uh, much as I say, this is what I'm getting with the Mortal Realms, and I will use the army in little games uh, like Dragon Rampant, which I may be able to get to play again soon. Uh, but that's been it. That's all I've been up to this month. Uh, the uh, all this, the only other thing I've done is I managed to get myself uh, another couple of shelves in my display cabinet. Uh, so there's two extra shelves in there now. So I've been able to sort one. I've spent a bit of time sorting models out in that. Uh, I've still got another two shelves which I'll buy for that for my cabinet at some point and sort more models out. But that's it for the month. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, as I said, I do a monthly update. Monthly, obviously. Um, I will try, I, as always, I will attempt to play some games and stuff and get some games up during the month as well of me playing. And very soon, hopefully, we can meet up with people and play with other people. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I shall see you all again soon. Bye.